but maybe people travel to have a taste of something that they don't have in their own home. So right. there you go. Yeah. I should point out too that um, the building with the cowboy style and the 1950s style room, it already looked kind of like an American style cabin or um, house with kind of a kind of a little veranda going all around it. So it looked like kind of a Wild West, a little bit like a Wild West building. So I thought, well, why not make the interior like that? So I think that was kind of my thinking. Yeah, but good. yeah, I, I like your idea of, you know, finding a theme that works and then making all four rooms in that theme. I think that's a good one. Yeah, so right um, now I'm, I'm, may, I'm hiring an architect because I have to renovate uh, some old apartments. Right. And um, so, I, you know, sometime down the road, I have to decide, and do we go modern and chic? And that way it's per se timeless. Right. Uh, um, things that seem to be cool now, right. after five or 10 years, become outdated. Right. So sometimes it's just uh, better to stick to the uh, standard format. Right. So there are different trains of thought. So I'm trying to make a, uh, do my homework and make a right. dedicated guess. Yeah. Uh, of course, everything you touch, every time you lift up the hammer, they say it costs money. Right. So the idea don't cost money. But right. Every time you have to put up new wallpaper, put off paint. Right. Um, yes, the purple paint. Yeah. Uh, might look good, but finding finding that purple paint, the same shade five right. years later when you want to repaint some areas, you can't right. find it. Right. So, yeah. uh, so that's maybe why a lot of people just go with pure white. Sure. Sure. And if you do, if you if you want to save money, you can do a lot of the work yourself. You can have, uh, you can, you know, hire a, a staff for a reasonable rate. Mm -hmm. I've had my staff do a lot of work and still do mm -hmm. uh, some of the really difficult stuff Then I've had, you know, uh, companies come in and it's been pricey, but they've done a really good job, but uh, we're getting the stairs painted and that, that'll be one of my staff members who's going to do that. Right. Um, I think I pay well, but it's, you know, it's uh it's a part-time job, so I'm paying a part-time job wage. Yeah. So uh, you are a host. So um, do you, when you travel, do you stay at Airbnb? <sighs> oh, dirty question. Right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. There you uh, go. Honestly, <laughs> okay. honestly, I haven't yet. I know that's terrible. I have, I have stayed at similar in Paris. I stayed at uh, a guest house and it was a similar service to Airbnb. Mm -hmm. And I do intend to stay at some Airbnbs, but I haven't yet. Actually, I haven't traveled much recently. And usually... Uh, well, since you've been doing this from 2015, I thought you might have uh, checked out the competition. <laughs> this is over. No comment. <laughs> okay. No comment. Moving right over. along. Moving right Interviews along. Over. Okay. Uh, maybe potential last, potential last question. Um, yeah, have you had understand. any trouble with uh, the Airbnb app or uh, difficult uh, guess um, right yeah yeah no about about your previous one I was I was teasing but yeah no I definitely want to stay at some Airbnbs I'd probably stay for sure with a super host just to make sure I, I got a good host mm -hmm. and I would probably stay with a host that was I don't know probably off site because that's kind of the way I like to host mm -hmm. I don't really want to be with them in the room, but I'd like them to be available if I need I need them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but isn't the the super host isn't is that something you apply for as a host, and then or is it does it depend on you get a number of visitors to your or guests to your establishment, and then you get more you get a whole bunch of positive reviews, then you become a super host. Is that how it works? Basically, yeah. Yeah, that's basically it. Yeah, you have to have uh, a certain level of 4.8 out of 5 is your, your rating. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, it's a challenge to consistently get that, but that's what you need to get. And you have to have a certain um, a number of guests and uh, can't cancel. And, yeah, there are different criteria. But, yeah, basically what you said is, is, is it, yeah. Okay, so yeah. if I'm looking for a business partner in the future, 
then I should try to link up with a super host. That would be a good idea. Yeah, they know they know how to do it. They know how to, yeah. And they've, if they've been a super host for a while, that, that's, that's a good thing. Getting mm-hmm. there and then keeping it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry, your last question again? What was? Um, have you had any trouble with Airbnb app or right. um, any difficult, uh, quote unquote, difficult or challenging guests? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes to both. Um, I've had thousands of guests. Wow, thousands. And so, um, 99% of the time, I don't know, 95% of the time, everything's fine and it's yeah. easy. And then there's maybe the 5% of the time where it's not. <laughs> uh-huh. Someone's very picky and it's difficult. I don't, maybe I shouldn't even say picky. They just don't. They don't like what you're offering. You know, they just, it wasn't, it was a mistake. They probably shouldn't have booked it or somehow they saw the pictures and it looked like what they wanted, but it wasn't, or maybe that, that kind of person anyway, you can't please everyone. So you have yeah. to let it kind of wash off you. Mm. Uh, I've had people fall down the stairs and break their legs. Ooh. And then uh, we've been trying to help them get, you know, care and all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, there have been thing, incidents like that that I heard about after the fact. The guest actually didn't tell me that, um, you know, um, the wife fell down the stairs and got hurt. And I actually messaged the guest. I actually heard from a neighbor because uh, the neighbor opened at a restaurant next door. And I guess they, they heard it. Um, haven't had anything major. Haven't had like a major crime or anything. Haven't had anyone die, thankfully. Uh, things have gotten broken here and there. Uh, one guy had the heater too close to the futon, burnt the futon. It could have potentially been very terrible. Yeah. Now we don't, um, don't, uh, you can't move a heater next to the futon and we don't, we don't have that kind of heater. Basically, you kind of have to troubleshoot and imagine what could people possibly do. And then, uh, there have been quite a few guests who didn't know how to use a Western style toilet. They, they stand on the toilet and really? so we, have, we have signs that show you how to use a toilet. People who'd never oh. been out of their country before. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so those were things I probably maybe I should have imagined, but didn't. Um, I often wondered, well, who, who were those signs for? Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, no, you, you actually need them. Yeah, it's, wow. it's rare, but you do you do need them. Um, one thing I really advise is maybe once you know who your guests are, really learn about them. Um, in my case, a lot of our guests have been Chinese. Uh-huh. I've never been to China. 